A friend of mine recently shared with me a formula for how he's growing his business. Uh, in this video, the, the formula itself doesn't matter as much as what he said next. He said, uh, here's the script I'm going to use to reach out to people. Here's the exact step-by-step -step formula I'm going to use. And when I looked at it, I said, okay, that's interesting. Well, I have a couple suggestions to make. I said, what about saying it this way or what about doing it that way? But really, you got to come to your own style, what works best for you. And his response was, listen, George, I, um, I don't want to stray from the formula. Um, the formula is supposed to be proven. It's worked for so many people. I just got to follow the scripts, reach out to people in these exact ways, and it'll work. And my, my response to that was, well, I didn't, res I didn't say what I'm going to say next. I just said, okay, that's, if, if that's what you want to do, that's, that's fine. But here's what I want to say to all of you. Um, I don't know if my friend will be watching this or not. But um, if you ever come across a particular teacher or a particular formula that says, just follow this and don't think for yourself, I advise you to be quite careful about that. Because when you start only following formulas towards success, first of all, most of the times they don't work for everybody. Or even for the few people that it works for, it doesn't work all the time. Okay, so you'll probably get disappointed and discouraged when you try to follow the formula and you might even blame yourself. That's the worst part to say, well, it was a proven formula, so I followed it. And if it didn't work, that means it must be my fault. No, it's usually the marketer who oversells that formula to says, oh, this thing works, this thing's proven. You just follow the step by step and it's going to work, right? What happens if it does happen to work and you do it again and again is eventually it does fail. But, but the, the, the problem, the greater problem with that is that you become robotic in how you build your business. You think it's all about following some external authority rather than practicing getting in touch with your internal higher authority within yourself. And this is why I always talk about building an authentic business. Because it's not about following what other people say you should do. You can always learn, of course, from other people. But then you always check in with your ultimate inner higher guidance and say, does this match my voice? And if it doesn't match my, my personality and voice, how would my authentic style customize this so that it does match? Okay, so yes, learn from formulas, but always, always match it. And customize it and if it doesn't match throw the formula out and create something that feels authentic to you reach out to people with a script that feels authentic to you follow a step-by-step -step that you may have come up with yourself or you've customized from another step-by-step -step guide so I hope this is helpful uh, this is why I always recommend you know in my videos and teachings I say hey you gotta feel free to customize what I just said because I always I always always encourage you to practice getting in touch with your inner higher authority so that you can eventually become your own best coach even if you use other coaches don't just don't deliver your authority over to another coach or another teacher or another mentor you've got to practice listening to that still small but powerful voice within you and follow your own highest way until the next video I'm George Cow and always open to your comments and questions, encouraging you to follow your own highest way. Be well.